17 апреля двукратный чемпион m Челлендж в полутяжелом весе и победитель реалити-шоу m Fighter Виктор Немков дебютирует в Белотор, выступив на одном турнире со своим братом Вадимом. Однако опыт встреч с чемпионами этого американского промоушена у Виктора уже давно имеется. После жестокой рубки с Александром Волковым, которая завершилась неудачей, Атила Вей принял решение вернуться из тяжелого веса в полутяжелый, тот самый, где он снискал всемирную славу, стал победителем Гран-при Беллатор, а потом и чемпионом этой организации. 21 октября 2016 года в Санкт-Петербурге на турнире Иванчелли 71 он второй раз вышел в рейд, чтобы бросить вызов российскому бойцу. Виктор Немков в предыдущем поединке уступил свой чемпионский пояс Рашиду Юсупу, и теперь он горел желанием исправить ошибки, реабилитироваться и забрать свой пояс назад. Но сперва для этого ему предстояло пройти испытания в схватке с матером и невероятно заслуженным бойцом, которым двигали точно такие же мотивы. Друзья, как вы уже заметили, турниры М1 богаты на самые невероятные исходы, зрелищные поединки и жесткие нокауты. Мы собрали для вас лучшие бои в нашей 23-летней истории и каждый день публикуем новое видео. Поэтому, чтобы не пропустить очередной шедевр из мира ММА, обязательно подписывайтесь на наш канал и жмите колокольчик, чтобы быть в курсе всех обновлений. M1 challenge bout in the light heavyweight division. Now introducing your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 31 years old. He weighed in at 93 kilograms. He stands 188 centimeters tall and has an impressive record of 29 wins, seven losses with only two draws. He is a Kempo Karate black belt. Bellator Grand Prix winner former Bellator light heavyweight champion and World Free Fight Association champion representing MMA spirit from Germany, Attila Vey. And now welcome his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 29 years old. He weighed in at 93 kilograms. He stands 185 centimeters tall and has a professional record of 22 wins with only six losses. He is winner of World Combat Sambo 2009, World Combat Sambo Champion 2011, winner of the first season of M1 Fighter Reality Show and former M1 Challenge Light Heavyweight Champion from Alexander Nevsky, Russia, Viktor Nemkov! <laughs> and your referee for this bout, Marco Bruersen. Red corner, blue corner, center of the right. You both know the rules, listen to my command. Protect yourself all times, make it a good match. Shake hands, step back to your corner. Our main event of the evening, M1 Challenge 71 from Ice Palace in stunning St. Petersburg, Russia. With Ian the Machine Freeman, I'm Sean Wheelock. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Judge. Attila Judge. Vek from Slovakia, Judge. now based I'm in ready. Germany, versus the Russian in his home country, Judge. Viktor Nemkov. The bell in round number one. Black grappling pants for Vek. Black and gray trunks for Nemkov. Well, I said in my early, earlier introduction that Vek needs to keep this standing. But let's take nothing away from Nemkov. He's got an unbelievable striking ability. I just think that Vey has the edge when it comes to the stand-up striking. They just misses with the right hand. Interesting machine that Vague is wearing grappling pants because he has made his name, made his reputation in mixed martial arts as a striker and often a one-punch knockout striker. He showed that against Travis View in Bellator. Yeah, he's coming off a, a three-fight loss streak. He may be a little bit worried to push the pace until he feels comfortable, but you know, he's a professional. He knows what he's doing. He's going to go for the knockout sooner rather than later, I think. But he's not going to take any chances. Constant circling from Vague. Nemkov, as you see, pivoting, holding the center of the M1 ring. Step in right hand from Nemkov, then circles out. Yeah, Vey needs to be careful rushing in like that. One of the worst things you can do if you get tagged with the right hand down the pipe as you're moving forward. 
Oh, nice counter. Overhand right. Big landing that inside kick, not fully turning it over. Snap jab just misses from Nemkov. Make now moving forward, hands high from the southpaw stance. Yeah, very stalker. There's the shot. I thought that was going to come sooner or later. No real commitment to that takedown attempt from Nemkov. Big Neri had to defend that. 245 remaining round number one. The fighters very much still in the respectful feeling out process. Nemkov trying to take that to the ground. I think Nemkov got tagged on the way in. I could be wrong, but it, he seemed to, he definitely he seemed to wobble a little bit as he went down. He definitely did with the right hand. Big now holding the body triangle from the bottom. No, head head back to the shoulder. Head. There's the warning from Marco Burson. Well, just to clarify that in some parts of Russia, you're allowed to headbutt the body, and that's what Nemkov did. That's why the referee, Marco Burson, was a little bit lenient there. Just the warning. Big posturing on his hip, trying to explode. Good control of the legs by Victor Nemkov, now taking the back. Oh, not where Attila Bay wants to be. Does well to get back up. Tries to work the inside hook, gets it. Big knee to the thigh. Big warned by Burrison, grabbing the ropes. Keep your hands inside. Burrison now telling Vey, you need to bring your hands inside the ring. Although Vey wasn't holding the ropes, he thought it was legal enough to put his hands on the outside, but still illegal if in case you get dragged down, you're gonna hook onto the rope. Those are powerful, thudding knees. Yeah, until Vey just kind of cannot turn into him. He's trying. Nemkov relentless on the right thigh of Attila Vague. Very much shots of attrition. Now to the hip with the knee. Look away punch that lands from Vague. Nemkov does not move. 60 seconds remaining in the opening round of our main event in the light heavyweight division. Attila Vague versus Victor Nemkov. The first look away punches from Vague. Got very much between the ring ropes now is yeah, Attila Vague. Been a, off the position here. But the Burson continues to allow this to flow. If, now, if, so, if Vague falls out too much like that. Vague stepped over yeah, to get out of that yeah, position. That was, that was a little bit of a tactic by Vague. I'm going to say they will start it. You're not going to step outside. That leg is not going out with him. Turn around, turn Burson, around. Burson, very stay firm inside. there. They trying to get the center of the ring restart. Hey, Burson inside. not allowing it. If if they had collapsed and fell through the ring, they might have restarted on its feet in the center. But because he stepped through, it was a blatant misuse of the rules. Nemkov with the body lock. Veg just absolutely stuck. More big knees from Victor Nemkov. Final seconds, round number one. We're going to round two. Well, not a lot that Attila Vey could have done there. You know, you, you bent over double with your head outside the ropes. It's, you know, it, where do you train for that? It's, it's kind of awkward, but, you know, good round for Victor Nemkov. Definitely took that round for me. 10-9, first round. Well, there's a nice body shot, but retaliated with the left hook. And I'd like to see the little bit of a later, that was the same hook. When Victor Nemkov shoots in to see if he got tagged on the way in, because he seemed to wobble. But now, we've gone straight to the ropes. And this was it for the last minute. He stepped over, which is blatant misuse of the rules. Into the corner, Victor Nemkov. Stefan Putz. In the corner of Attila Bay, his teammate and training partner in Germany. Okay, second time. Second time. What's opening M1 Challenge 71 with a very under, strong not performance. With your not with your hand. Third round Foul. submission victory Foul. versus Marcus Vinicius Lopez. Vic trying to make it two for two. 
For his German two. fight team this evening. But again, Machine, on your unofficial scorecard, hey, I fully agree. Stop. Round one, 10 9 to Victor Nemkov. Red corner, red corner. Go there. I need new glove. Time call, oh, Marco Burrison saying glove. he needs a new right glove for Attila Veg. Yeah, the thumb, the leather of the thumb has actually off, ripped. This could be a lengthy delay. I'm sure they could just cut the, the, the leather off because there's plenty of gloves out there without, without thumb. It's, it's just a big hole where you stick your thumb through, so I'm surprised they didn't get... They could easily just get a pair of scissors and cut that off. It wouldn't affect the fight, wouldn't affect the punch. See the rip on the thumb? So they have to take off the tape, take off the glove, find a new glove, put on the new glove, and then put on new glove tape. Which we can only hope is blue. <laughs> the tape of the glove. <laughs> well, I hope they've got some ringside. Victor Nemkov staying in the neutral corner. Not allowed to speak to his corner during this timeout. Well, as you see there, the glove with the thumb, it has a little bit of padding that's to protect, protect the knuckle of the thumb. But there's plenty of gloves out there, thousands of gloves out there, which do not have a thumb at all. It's just a big hole. So I couldn't see where the harm would have been if they got the doctor or the corner man to get the scissors and cut that thumb off. Strange, even awkward, round number one. Vague literally trapped between the ring ropes. Nemkov holding the body lock, as we saw in the opening round. Vague trying to free himself of that bad position, stepping out. Referee Marco Burrison telling him that's not allowed. Did not give Vague the center ring restart that he was hoping for, instead putting him right back in that position. Well, I said that Faye would be a little bit nervous coming into the fight because he's had a three-fight loss. He doesn't want to rush anything. But now that he knows he's a round down and there's only three rounds in this fight, I think he may come out firing. He might think, I've got nothing to lose. I'm, I'm down a round. I need to gain that round back. And this is a perfect rest for him to do it. Fake's corner was just giving him advice, telling him to hit the leg kick. That is not allowed. You see Nemkov correctly staying in the neutral corner. Ian, you know, as someone who corners a lot of fighters, you get away with what you can get away with. Of course. It's only illegal if you get caught. Not that I've done anything illegal, <laughs> man, Sean. <laughs> I've never done anything illegal. I'm a, I'm a straightforward saint. And if you believe that. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the illegalities of mixed martial arts, there are worse things than to talk to your fighter during a timeout. <laughs> so thankfully, there's a new glove. We are mere moments away from the resumption of round number two. Can, can I just clarify this um, <laughs> this illegal thing? I've never done anything illegal in MMA. Maybe <laughs> maybe outside of MMA, but not in MMA. You're sending people to Google now, you realize yes, that. Yes, I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I can honestly say MMA kept me out of jail, so it's one good thing. It's, it, it put me on the straight and narrow. And now look at me, traveling the world doing this job. It's fantastic. <laughs> A guy from Newcastle, a guy from Kansas, and here we are in St. Petersburg, living the life. So here we go with round number two. See how this delay affects Viktor Nemkov, who clearly had the momentum entering this second round. Solid round number one for Nemkov, even with the awkwardness of Veg being trapped between the ring ropes. Straight right hand from Nemkov. Yeah, nice retaliation over the left hook by Veg. Oh, he went for the uppercut and missed it. And come to the inside. Kopp getting on the hips, looking for the takedown. Good, good. defense from Vang. Good, good, good defense. Vang now looking to close guard. guard. With the guillotine. This would be a shock, but his head's free. So tough to get from that position. Vang was not looking for the takedown, felt he was being taken down. Close guard went for the close guard, jump guard, guillotine. No worries for Nemkov. 
Well, this is how I predicted the fight would go. Victor Nemkov, very intelligent fighter. He knows that Attila Vey has knockout power in his hands, which he's done so many times. Now looking for that Kimura. Is he locked up? Vey posturing onto his hip to find that Kimura. Figure fouring on his wrist. It's hard to see when Nemkov has his hand. He could, could have it tied up on the inside of his thigh. He could have a hold of his own shorts. It's hard to see from here. In this situation, Nemkov can grab his own trunks, can grab his own glove, cannot grab the trunks, or in this case, the grappling pants or the glove of Veg to defend. I can see his hand now. He's actually got it up between his legs, which is a, another defense. Stop it being pulled free, but Veg decides to leave go. Veg trying to walk up his guard, now closes it. Nemkov on a wide base looking for strikes. See Nemkov now walking forward, trying to move Veg back against the lower fence. 2.45 remaining round number two of our main event in the light heavyweight division. Well, the guard is wide open. Victor Nemkov could pass any time if he wants. Quite happy to stay there. Veg actually walking as you see his right leg up on the ring ropes, trying to find leverage, can't do it. Nemkov, machine, a very impressive base. Yeah, I knew he was going to be strong on the ground. He's going to be a lot stronger than what Attila Vey is, and he's proven it. He's seen him fight so many times. A really, really good stand-up striker is Nemkov, but when he gets into trouble striking, he always takes it down, and you know, you've got to go where your advantages are. See Nemkov going body, body, head with the right, then with the left hand. Body triangle now for Attila Vey. Well, I don't know why he's put the triangle on because you're just keeping your opponent where he is already succeeding. Virtually impossible to sweep out of a body triangle. The punches are not devastating, but they're counting the, the scoring points. And they're keeping Marco Burrison satisfied with Nemkov holding this top position. Yeah, exactly. As long as the guy on top is working, it doesn't matter how much the guy in the bottom holds on, they will keep it there. You cannot earn a stand-up from the bottom position for inactivity. It's the inactivity of the top fighter. Burrison felt that Nemkov not active enough, and there is the stand-up. Surely, to the relief of Attila Veg, but we'll see if he can capitalize. Nemkov had to be careful. He turned his back. Veg stepped forward. Azad! Oh, not a wise decision to do that. He threw a knee. When you, throw a knee, when you throw a knee at someone who, who, who has intent to take it down, it's quite easy to get he took down. He should have used his, his punches, should have kept on the outside. He closed the gap, he, he helped Victor Nemkov take him down there. Sign of desperation, maybe. Now he's back in the same position where they stood up. Take again, in close guard, recrosses the ankles. What we're not seeing, though, machine from Attila Vague on the bottom, attempts to really posture, to shrimp, to sweep, and throw up his legs. He's using closed guard, open guard, and body triangle, but all defensively. Yeah, that's true. Big a little more aggressive now. So walking up the leg, looking for rubber guard. Yeah, Final seconds, round two. He's holding on. He's trying to make Nemkov inactive. I mean, from here, he could. He could pull the leg over the head and go for Google Plata, but he was just using that as a, as a stall tactic. We are moving to the third and final round. Our main event of the evening, two outstanding light heavyweights, two former champions, Attila Veg had the title in Bellator, Victor Nemkov had the title here in M1. Well, another good round, strong round for Victor Nemkov. And there's the, the guillotine attempt, and. And, and they jump guard, he pulls him down. You have to know that your guillotine is on before you jump guard. You've got to know it's on, you've got to know it's there, then you jump guard. But beautiful takedown by Nemkov, totally dominating the guard position with ground and pound. And in that sequence, we saw it was a reaction by Vey to jump guard for the guillotine. He felt he was being taken down. 
Never had it secured. Nevkov immediately popped his head free. Third and last round. Should I get we it? head into the third round for me, Machine. The, the story of the opening 10 minutes Point. is that there have just not been answers for Attila Vega on the bottom. Nemkov not doing a lot of damage in top control, but positionally he's very sound. Yeah, he scored two rounds. I think I think Attila Vega needs a knockout now. A knockout or a submission, but obviously your knockout is what he's really good at doing. He doesn't want to rush anything. He's got five minutes because he rushed it in round two. Tried a, a knee to the body and got took down. He doesn't want to chase his opponent. He wants to lure him into that big right hand because if he chases him, Nemkov is just going to close the gap and take him down again. So a solid 2018 two rounds to none for you for Victor Nemkov. Yes, sir. And I fully agree. Oh, nice. Nice left hand straight down the pipe. That's what he needs to do. Get take, take his time, pick his shots. Don't chase him down. Again, Vic told me what he's really been working on with oh. his new fight team in Germany is that being more aggressive. But we've not seen that much aggression there. The explosion on the takedown. I'm shocked he's actually gone for the takedown. Repositioning for Victor Nemkov. Because even if he gets him down, he's got to finish him with ground and pound or with a submission. And it's hard to do against Victor Nemkov. Because that's what's going to happen. He's such good on the ground. That was it. Ah, what tactic was that? I'm not really sure that was a wise thing to do. Vic literally pulling Nemkov on top of him. Now Nemkov trying to take the back. Vic to his feet. When you, when, when you have a record of stopping people out. Head inside. Head inside. And you're down on the scorecard by two rounds. Why take your opponent down when you're not being beaten on your feet? Very, very shocked at that. Frustration, yeah. perhaps, for Attila Vague. And earning 29 pro MMA wins and earning the Bellator Championship as well as winning a Bellator tournament. Vague has been at his best when he has let his hands and his kicks go. Kyokushin Karate Black Belt can be a very unpredictable striker. We're not seeing that by and large here in this fight. I totally agree with you, Sean. Totally agree. He needs to break free from this. He needs to go for figure four on the arms there on the lock. Short knees, hard knees, powerful knees again from Nemkov. Vague trying to roll, and you see Nemkov just matching him. Yeah, ne Nemkov's too good. That's why I was shocked that he tried to take him down. His ground game is unbelievable. I said on the, at the beginning of this fight, my synopsis was Nemkov to take it down to elevate to keep it standing. And it's, it's kind of proven my, my tactic was right. Nemkov looking for an armbar. Now on a front jump, now a back jump, and that is tight! On the door, looking to finish! Boko Bruzan taking a really close look! Anaconda, got the Anaconda choke. He needs to wrap his legs around the body of Attila V. Needs to squeeze it up tight, turn to his side. Go chest to chest with him, and then wrap his legs around him and squeeze it tight. You see, hand on the bicep for Nemkov to get the full squeeze. On the jawline, really tight. They trying to hook the leg. Let go of it. Well, to the advantage of Attila Vey. Trying to pass guard. Possibly fishing for an inverted triangle now for Nemkov. Good submission defense on the Anaconda choke by Vague, but if you're defending an MMA, you're losing. Now he switched it to Omar. Oh, he got down, he got out, done well. He's popping his head free from the head scissors, snatching the arm, and again, this is Nemkov with grappling, attacking, grappling offense. Vague defending submission attempts. 15th and final minute of the fight. Well, Attila Vey needs, needs a finish. He needs to finish to win this fight. He's down two rounds. Down the home stretch of our main event. Victor Nemkov. The question for him, how would he respond in his first fight since dropping the M1 Light Heavyweight Championship? Thus far, has responded extremely well, but nothing has been decided yet. 30 seconds remaining in the final round. Vague now looking for a hammer fist. Well, Attila Vey has to get that left hand free. He's got to break it free and then just go for gold. He's got to, he's got to do it. 
who's back, who's back, who's he's trying to get it free, but Nemkov has got that leg crossed really tight. He's not letting him get his hand out. Big stepping over with the knee. More hammer fist from Attila Vex. Still has the left hand trap. Final seconds now. Oh. They try to open up. There's the bell. There's the end of the fight. Not flashy, but a very solid performance for that man, Viktor Nemkov. A very thorough performance. Look at disappointment already in the corner of Attila Vague. We await the decision of the three judges scoring cage side, but. Vague just not getting his okay, full here we go. arsenal Red corner, blue corner. of strikes going. Vague has shown the ability to be a ferocious striker. But not showing that corner. over three rounds and 15 minutes versus Victor Nemco. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for a unanimous decision in favor of your winner, Victor Nemkov! A very straightforward, unanimous decision win for Victor Nemkov. Disappointment for Attila Vague. He's still an outstanding fighter, but instead of pro win number 30 for Vague, it is pro MMA win number 24 and 30 fights for Victor Nemkov. Thorough, decisive, impressive. Поздравляем всю команду Виктора Немкова. Спасибо за поддержку. Приятно спать в Питере. Еще у нас был Андрей Лисицын умер в 2011 году, когда 19 октября можно посвятить от ему. Был хороший парень, спортсмен, царство небесное. Жизнь продолжается. С победой тебя, Витя! С победой, Виктор Немков! Старый Оскол! ОМК Россия! A genuine thanks to all of you watching worldwide. M1 Challenge 71 from Ice Palace in St. Petersburg, Russia. For everyone at M1 Global and for my broadcast partner, Ian the Machine Freeman, I'm Sean Wheelock. Thanks for watching, everyone. This is M1 Challenge 71.